how about a science challenge with a watermelon? Now, I know you've seen all those fancy carvings before. Somebody has a knife and they do all those fancy things. What if I told you you could prepare a watermelon? It would be awesome. All you need, a pair of safety glasses and a few hundred rubber bands. <laughs> Maybe more, who knows? This is how you're going to do it. Um, first of all, you probably want to get a friend or two to do this and then cover the area in plastic. You'll see why here in just a second. And you could just start like this. Now with a friend, it's kind of fun because it's fun to count the rubber bands, but you stretch the rubber band out and you put it in the very center of the watermelon. It doesn't seem like any problem whatsoever, but now you're just gonna keep on doing it. Every time you stretch a rubber band, you're actually adding potential energy. You're using your energy to open it up. It wants to go back down again, so you're adding elastic potential energy and you're concentrating it right here in the middle. Now, not gonna be a problem at the very beginning, but after a couple hundred or so, maybe 20 minutes or so, you're gonna start to see the watermelon shape change. It's gonna start to push in in the middle. You're gonna see little beads of water appear right here around the middle. You know who does this well? Our friends at the Franklin Institute in Philadelphia, they're the ones that showed us how to do this, and they do it in an awesome way. Oh, look at that, you can see it dripping. We saw a little, little... Oh. <laughs> wow! That was phenomenal! <laughs> Look at that, that's awesome, right? Now you understand why I told you you gotta have safety glasses, you gotta cover the area, the kids are gonna eat it for sure. Your guests will never forget the watermelon challenge. Not at your home, at their home because you brought the watermelon and the rubber bands. You're gonna have a blast, uh, an implosion of fun. I'm Steve Spangler, that's your Watermelon Bursting Science Minute.